once upon a time in the land of Carmel Ray, where science and technology is developed. There is a well-known scientist have a lot of knowledge regarding science and everything, but he is already old and he is already retired due to his athlete's foot, and his name is Obuve Obuve Osas. Living with him is his loving grandson. His name is Dongyu from the land of Opa. While he was walking, he suddenly saw a weird appearance of the anchor chain. It was the most shocking day of his life. Hmm, why is this like this? Hmm. I think I need to ask my favorite grandpa. Grandpa, 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 listen, listen to me. Hey, what? I saw beautiful red chains, but when I walked continuously, I saw some things. It's not red and beautiful anymore. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> Aha! I remember. Come here, come here with dear grandson. Come here. From the teachings, learnings, and experience with the birds singing, with the sun shining, with the winds blowing, with the fish swimming, and you smiling, <coughs> I can say that it is a rust. Why do melting's grow? Let me answer that. Corrosion is caused by a redox reaction, which is a chemical reaction with a two simultaneous reaction. It is a reduction and oxidation. Reduction reaction occurs when some atom gain electron, but oxidation occurs when atom loses an electron. That is reduction oxidation. Get it? An example of corrosion is rusting which happens to iron. And there are three ingredients for rust. An anode, which gives up electrons, that's iron. A cathode, which accepts electrons, that's oxygen. And lastly, you need an electrolyte solution. Let's show all ions between cathode and anode. So have you ever wondered why? Because I wonder why. That anchor chain was after being left out in the rain. Well, water is the electrolyzed solution that helps was form. Once the chemical reaction occurs, which is called redox reaction, the iron turns into the hydrated ferrous oxide, which is called a thing or rust.